Well, San Sebastián is the culinary capital of Spain, but we are in for a treat of a footballing variety this time. And Geraldo Becker playing his first Champions League minutes in a Real Sociedad shirt at the expense of Andre Silva, who goes to the bench. With another great game, we will see. Two changes in the lineup for Luis Enrique as well. Marquinhos and Danilo are on the bench. So when they renovated, remodeled, and expanded this stadium some seven years ago, they dreamt of this moment, of a night like this, under the bright lights of the Champions League, a knockout game. The extra cutting edge for La Real in front of this. It's curious, isn't it? La Real created 19 high turnovers in that first leg yeah. and not a single shot on target. No reward. Here's Kylian Mbappe. It's pulled back toward Mbappe. Fired the first warning shot. Crossed the bow and over the crossbar. Japanese international, of course, but his variety in his game, how wonderfully creative he is, and one-on-one, -on -one, he can be dynamite. Kubo outswinger toward the spot. It's won by Mikel Merino, able to keep it in play. Headed down toward Gigi Odonnarumma, and it's easy grab for the Italian goalkeeper. PSG, will answer to those praises have been given to Kubo in the shape of Warren Zaire Emery. A wonderful footballer, at 17 year old Andres. He's already played in something like 60 games for PSG, which is absolutely ridiculous. What a footballer. Tonight is 10th in the Champions League for Zaire Emery. You wouldn't know his age by his football. Surely. He's a mature teenager as we've seen. Acres of space here for Fabiani. He leaves it for Kylian Mbappe. Oh, the sprint as he oh. gets past his marker. Traore pulled back and Barcola denied point blank by Ramiro. And here we see the genius of Mbappe going one way, the ball absolutely tattooed. There's one little touch here when we see it again in replay. And you look at people with your remotes can go instantly. Perhaps the first goal that will be so crucial in this match. Approaching the quarter hour mark here is a high pressing from Barcolat. Around the same time in the Bayern Lazio match over on Paramount Plus, which you can stream live, as is the case with all of the Champions League knockout stage matches. Pressure again from La Real. And then Paris managed to pass her way through it. Zaire Emery. Space and options all around him. Mbappe to his left. Into the 18 on his own in Zaire Emery. A couple of touches, too many. Oh, stepping back to Vitinha. Beautifully read. Dembele. A lot of space in the middle. Dembele threaded through. Mbappe. Zubeldia. In his way. Mbappe looking for the angle! Oh! He's done it again! Kill it, Mbappe! Breaks the deadlock! Magisterial indeed, this one! He's got options. He says, I see you, lads. I don't need you. He needs help. Like a shark needs a dentist. Take a look again, people, and pick your jaws up off the floor. Stunning. Everything right. The ball into Dembele is a little bit heavy. He brings it back. He puts the ceramic brakes on. He dupes, he stops, he twists and turns like a drunk snake. And then he cannonballs this one. Like Minnesota fats. Eight ball, top pocket. We got a foul on. Desire Emery was quick to get in his face. Now Barcola pulled back into Mbappe! Well, he nearly got his second. He was denied by a great tackle here, Andres. It's a wonderful... And penalties if needed. The half-time whistle kind of comes soon enough for La Real now. He get in front of the coach, and he's going to need to seriously come up with some magic. And, quite frankly, I don't know how he's going to be able to find the cord. A little magic from Kubo from distance! And it zips wide. Four minutes added on. He said if Lenormand Roman could get away with it. Yeah. Flighted into the 18, attacked by Mikel Medino. And that will do a sensational first 45 for Paris Saint-Germain, who 
increase their lead. It's 3-0 on the aggregate. Probably break the internet tonight. Oh, what a ball. Into the space for Mbappe. He Look out! He held his run up. It's killing Mbappe for his second. Mbappe! Makes absolutely no mistake. His version of match, Marsh Madness in San Sebastian. Just as we were speaking of the devil, the devil appears in front of La Real. As cool as a bomb disposal expert, Kylian Mbappe. He attacks the space, he wears it all up in his mind. And he's like a jackrabbit in a den of wolves. And he leaves them all in his wake. It's a lovely ball played through. He's onside, at least he's level, and that's onside. And giving him this much space, and this all Aladdin's cave of talent. But this team is looking very balanced. I'll give them all of that and more. It's Bimendi looked into the 18. Header down and pulled one back. It's going to beat him, I believe. Yeah. One step too quick. Almost a half a step, but either way. Admired by coaches after they come off and they look at these. Battle Ole. Warriors, and I'm telling you, Fabian Ruiz is one that will be receiving a good rough of his hair by Lucio Enrique. The youngsters have been brilliant and wonderful, but look at this everywhere. Fabian Ruiz putting out fires and starting the attack like this. Hakimi at full stride, Galan giving chase. Good run. Hakimi goes for goal and denied by Ramiro. Away by Galan. Marini. Lenormand. Again, it's Fabian Ruiz who wins it back. Mbappe on a hat trick. Put in for Lenormand. Slapped away by Donnarumma. And the offside flag is up on the near side. Happened after Lenormand's touch. Not the cleanest of punches here by Jim Luigi. He comes on. His fists seem to turn into a open palm. But got the job done. Well, the next Champions League draw will determine the path to the final and Wembley. That's given away. To Oyarzabal, who could get his goal. Oyarzabal waiting for reinforcements to arrive, and sure handed, Donnarumma denies him. Tried to squirrel it through to little Kubo, who was on the doorstep. Mark your calendars for March 15th, the draw for the Champions League quarterfinals and beyond. Really is not the glue, is the cement. Oh, Vitinha for Mbappe, who's on a hat trick. Waiting for reinforcements to arrive. Back post delivery. Senior Emery was the man arriving. Mikel Medino has inherited the captain's armband from Mikel Oyarzaba. Imanol Alguacil has made three changes, used two windows. There's two subs still available. We've seen goals for Luis Enrique. Part of the good stuff about Paris Saint-Germain as well is how flexible they are when they do miss big players. Hakim is going to be the next test. Here's Barneche. Take him. It oh, it's loose for Torrentes. And Donnarumma does well to preserve the clean sheet. Is it Torrentes? It strikes us, and it's full of power and vigor and plenty of vinegar. But six foot five, Donnarumma goes down and dirty and covers the entire goal it seemed tremendous save I don't think it just hit him there's a dynamic of movement there from Donnarumma it's helped maintain this clean sheet we'll take a look at it again I'm sure there's Dembele walking a tightrope
beautiful touch by Andre Silva. As Torrientes chooses not to use him, it's still Andre Silva. Well, he only had eyes for goal. Take Kubo was waiting in the 18. You look at the scoreline, Andy, 4 0, and it's been far from an absolute walk in the park for PSG. We've given them all the kudos and credits, and deservedly so. But this La Real team is certainly. Olaf well, Zagasti to check in his very first minute to the Champions League. It's only promoted from La Real's B team in June. Right. Kubo. Nicely. Olaf Zagasti. Is there a debut goal in the cards? Light it over. Almost too much time and space to pick his spot and head the right direction, nearly. Very close. Again, they look for that constellation goal. Turrientes thinks the gloves of Donnarumma. And Roman with the center backs swing and miss. Still the insist with less than 90 seconds left of the 90 minutes. Kubo. Torrientes. Donnarumma oh. slaps it away. Merino! And they found the constellation goal. Real Sociedad needed something to celebrate. They've got it. Lovely little ball on the outside. It'll come back to him. And a wonderful trigger. Donnarumma doing everything he can. It's well. Asriel Kalaifi. Chairman of PSG's song side, Okina Pinarabai, who is known as the Angel of Anoeta. He rescued this club. Took over at a critical juncture back in 2008 when we also see that we're in Segunda and on the brink of financial ruin. Wow. Here they are in the bright lights of the Champions League. Mbappe is still on a hat trick. He leaves it for Vitinha. Vitinha! It's denied by Ramiro, still loose in the six and will be out for a. PSG corner. Indefatigable Portuguese peach. Vitinha. Look at this ball that he plays into Mbappe and then bursts his lungs to get to the other side of him. And then flame throws this one towards Ramiro. Great save. Wonderful Vitinha. Halfway through the three minutes added on. Goal kick. Thanks for everything, your blood, sweat and your tears. And we'll be here next week. Well, they may be known for the glitz and glamour. The Parisians, today they put in plenty of the hard work as well. A brace by Kylian Mbappe, top score in the Champions League so far this season.